our auntie don't come outside again to expose married women. Hey, this one go shock many married women. I beg, I want make gonna bring out time. If you be man, and especially you they stay for abroad, open your ear, sit down and listen. Make we listen to our auntie. Hey, hey. She exposed many things. I am watch the video now. Five businesses a married woman should never do. Five businesses a married woman should never venture into. You see these five businesses that I'm about to mention is not for married women. And if your wife they do any of these five businesses that I'm about to list here, your wife na shawo. She be a shower low-key because these five businesses and more exposes them to men. They meet men every day. They meet men that they cannot resist. No responsible woman will do these five businesses that I'm about to mention. If you die abroad, your wife, they do these businesses that I'm about to mention here. Number one is bar. Why will a married woman own a beer parlor? A restaurant where men come. Why will a married woman own a bar? So you as a married man, you are comfortable that your wife own a bar. A man I wanna give you a show. In a labeke we gana on a Nigerian gana run no bar business. She cannot resist men. Men can go out of their ways to become customers. They come every day to buy one bottle of drink, seven hundred, one thousand. The man on one, one yes, yeah, year one. Ha na no. The man will keep other friends here. Yeah? Hane petronize ya na will tell my your wife will not want to lose that kind of customer. So any amount that, that customer offers your wife, your wife are gonna yeah? because she doesn't want to lose customer. So this business exposes your wife to a shower. And if your wife is doing it, all a shower, she cannot deny it. Bad business, bia palo. She cannot say, oh God, don't do it again because she wants customer. She cannot afford to lose customers because customer is Any woman who make a bar business, bar and restaurant. Any woman who make a bar and restaurant business, because there are men that will come there that she cannot resist. There are men that are more better than her husband that will come to eat. That will come to buy one bottle. So if your wife they do be a parlor business, bar a shower. If you die abroad, your wife they're Nigeria, they do bar business. A shower, a shower lo show, a shower chromoto. Number two, real estate. You see all these married women where they go around, they do real estate businesses. Honey le wonder shower. You see all these married women where they go sell land to men. They sell properties. Your wife, they do real estate business. You know, no say your wife now shawo. No responsible woman can venture into real estate business because she will know that that business is going to expose her to men. Billionaires. Billionaires will come and buy properties from your wife. Offer her 7 million or 10 million there. Why would your wife sleep with the man? How much do you have? So a married woman should not do rala rolo and our real estate business. It exposes them to men, men that they cannot resist. Only customer guy, they are not that your fine wife, so that property, so that your wife can sleep with with him. Yes, only a giji we broke man. When big men come to buy property, all this papa balawa, your wife will do everything to keep that customer. Emma. A man not only a state the corner bank. A mature no get a customer to return the customer corner back on your bank. Yes, so your wife sleep with their customers to return them to be buying properties in the real estate. Cancel. Nda shawo. If your wife they do real estate, na shawo, a shawo olo show. Number three, boutique. So as a married man, you are comfortable that your wife owns a boutique where they only sell menswear. <laughs> Why is it that she don't want to sell the one of her gender? Yes. Your wife owns a boutique. We are the sell men's wear, men foot wear, everything that belongs to men. And you are comfortable. Don't you know there are rich men, big men, sugar daddies that go from one boutique to the another to look for people's wife to sleep with? A man that's in a long one, you don't know. 
A married woman should not venture into boutique business, especially selling things for men. Sell for your gender. Or another boutique to again. Sell the one for your gender. If you're a man, sell for a man or a woman. But as a married woman, you have to sell for women. That's why most of you go there, start selling for women. But that one, you go the aside. Sell for your gender. Your wife, when they sell boutique, in the customer na be na zuefe because men can go out of their ways to buy one polo that your wife is selling fifteen thousand for one hundred and fifty thousand just to sleep with your wife. Na your wife auto, you understand me? The man will go and bring more customers to your wife to entice your wife, buy things, buy plenty things to entice your wife. Now oga be na ono na auto zuefe. From there he becomes friends. From there yena mu yega na mu auto. And your wife wouldn't want to lose that kind of person because the person buys a lot of things in her boutique. So as a married man, we say your wife, they say boutique, no, they're very comfortable. Oh. No, they're very comfortable. Most of them now shower. <laughs> Most of your wife, you know, Ghana, had the her process girl or shop. Walk up, wash your time. Latch it Especially you, where that side country, your wife, they Nigeria, they the wrong boutique. And I know when you show up. Number four, barbing saloon. Why will a married woman even have a male barbing saloon? Only for men. Why will a married woman wake up and tell the husband, oh, I want to open a barbing saloon. DNA, you have pay barbing saloon for men. If your wife owns a barbing saloon only for men, oh, you have show. Barbing saloon, unisex, oh, you have show. This business exposes married women to men. Men that they cannot resist. Handsome men, fine men, rich men, they can as the husband. So if your wife has a barbing saloon, they cannot come to my face and tell me that I'm lying. They know how my hair runs. Hey! Number five, spa. So your wife owns a spa. Your wife owns a spa. Who does the happy ending? Your wife owns a spa where they do massage. So who does the happy ending? As a, as a married man, begin to question things. So. As a married man, where you be question a lot of things. Who does the happy happy ending? If a person comes for massage and demands for happy ending, who exactly does it? Don't you know that all these rich men that likes people's wife, Oh, we end up with their fantasy to sleep with people's wife. They enjoy it. Sleeping with people's wife is their hobby. Iya, we mere iya iya we mere long one. You go kwa iyo nyo so ga ahu mo na wangu ne goto. Iya, we go ga ahu kwa we na chumu ne gi chope gi de ya. Offer ya ego, offer ya better life, offer ya everything. So don't you know that they are men today? What they go, they go from spa to spa to look for who yen dem madha ga anoto. Ask yourself now, who does the happy ending in that massage room? Okay, when you get Guyana and them mad hamo, I talk to Kora Yego as soon as she walk up. I got add money. I go do you well. So your wife owns a spa that has a massage inside there. Now, when the rich men come, they demand for the madam, the owner of the place. The owner of the place is there. Yeah, we lose the money. Get that is a fine woman. <laughs> And I don't hear them now. This one no come out from my mouth too. Hey, hey. Me self, I am even shocked. I am shocked too. So guys, tell me what you think after watching this video under my comment section. And if you are not following this channel, you are losing a lot. I beg, follow this channel from now because I'm bringing you new updates 247.